Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. So the stimulus checks, how's that going to go? Is that going to be a smooth rollout? I mean, it's happening, but I want to know. Let's talk about the process a bit. Yeah, so we know that money's coming, but when is it coming? And is it going to be, uh, you know, a, a thoughtful, easy, uh, we can understand it kind of rollout? So let's check that and um, see how that goes. So for uh, this one, the stimulus checks, golden tarot, seems the way to go. Something golden. These are great uh, cards. They come in a really neat box. Uh, makes you feel like you've got a kind of a treasure here. So good stuff there. The cards are amazing and really nice and beautiful and fun to look at. And uh, these, as a matter of fact, what this artist does is they've taken and digitally removed like each little element from some other uh, beautiful work of art and then put together this story. So if you can see them, if you have them, uh, you'll appreciate this. But if you can see them, right, in per I mean, it just looks like they're each a beautiful painting. But no, they're each a piece of another beautiful painting to come up with the, uh, uh, the interpretations that uh, Cat Black, uh, Australian artist, uh, digital uh, wizard. Uh, has come up with for these cards. So that's the Golden Tarot. Pretty much Rider Waite sort of uh, uh, iconography, I guess. And um, so this is going to be the stimulus uh, checks, the stimulus rollout. And you know, everything that goes with it, because we've got there's a few moving parts there. There's money for the kids, it's ongoing. There's um, relief for uh, health coverage if you lost your job or left your job and uh, can't, don't, you know, that's a problem. There's money for, gosh, there's, there's just help for everybody everywhere. And um, so is that going to, how's that going to work out? And and then that's going to determine how the economy uh, works out after that. So let's see what we, what kind of thing we can tell from, from this little uh, Celtic cross. And uh, how is the stimulus rule out going to go? Is this going to be a smooth smooth situation is everything going to go to plan because uh, you know even during the obama era there was a big fellow with the website um and i don't know what trump is doing but uh this biden this stimulus plan uh how's this going to go is this going to be the savior for us all i think it is all right i'll take six cards out of here well, we got two stuck together. Two, three, four, five, oh, six. Put these back together. Even the backs of these cards are nice to look at. We'll get another four in a minute to finish this Celtic cross. So this stimulus. Uh, rollout. I mean, it's more than just the checks. It's the whole huge package. So I wonder if that's too general of a question, but hey, I'm new at this, so we'll see how it goes. The signifier for this then is going to be, well, this kind of looks right. This is the Eight of Coins, and this is, um, some might say an apprentice, um, but um, it seems appropriate to me for somehow. This, this, uh, this apprentice, as a matter of fact, is working on his craft, and he's really trying to get it right. And if this is what he's already done, these are pretty, you know, amazing. You know, it looks like there's a bright future at the uh, castle on the hill. Is that the, the White House? And is this um, our, our apprentice now who's uh, our president? So uh, let's see, what's the challenge uh, to this stimulus rollout? This whole situation, what's the challenge to the stimulus rollout? That's going to be the King of Swords. And the King of Sco Swords would, uh, for me, is the rule of law. And uh, so... Um, does this mean that uh, the red tape is going to get in the way? Uh, this fellow is, is in a throne draped in red uh, velvet, it looks like, with beautiful red roses here. Um, that almost seems like uh, that's what is, could be a problem. Um, I'll leave it at that. Then the uh, base of the reading is going to be temperance. And so, of course, it is. You know, you've got to balance uh, this out and, and make sure. And, and it's all about uh, emotions right now. It's all about our, um, not to say that this is an emotional time, but uh, our. Um, our passions are all pushed to the max right now. So that's the base of everything that we've got. The recent past for all of this is the King of Wands. 
And you know, if you want to call this the coronavirus on fire, that looks like a pretty good uh, past uh, interpretation for that card. Uh, up in the sky of this reading is the Seven of Cups, which is everything is up in the air. We don't have a clue, really. I mean, I guess we do see the light, and uh, this is, for the most part, these are nice options that we have uh, to choose from uh, with a potential of a little snake bite here. But everything else is is uh, pretty much our future is looking pretty bright. And so that's that's great. And then the recent or the potential outcome for this big uh, look here is the Ace of Wands. And um, this feels scary to me. I mean, the Ace of Wands, you know, wands are, are fire and movement and, and change, really. And um, you're not going to have a fire without burning something down, but then you made the way for something new to happen. And this is the Ace of that. And her book of learning has just been, you know, dropped on the floor. She's getting ready to step on it. So sometimes we can move too fast uh, and not take a minute to learn the lessons that we need to pick up. So that could be that. Now the self, I mean, to re really zero down on what could be the problem, which it looks like uh, somehow government's going to get in the way, um, is the magician. And um, gosh, so we're talking about government, and this is the magician, and uh, they can do anything they need to do if they use their uh, magic the right way and um, let's just leave it at that and we'll say that the uh, the environment for this magician of our government is the six of wands uh, which is a nice celebration you know this is a healthy dose of we won uh, right here this environment and it's probably where that administration is feeling right now uh, the hopes and fears though for all of this are the lovers and um, you know this is inevitability these are two are going to be drawn together and uh, I can only see this as a positive uh, card okay and then the final outcome for all of this is the high priestess what better uh, um, outcome would we want than someone with all the knowledge all the cunning and uh, all the comfort to have their will done so looks pretty good to me there's gonna be some government uh, problems but overall not bad now, some of you may have noticed that I forgot to use the last card on the deck. I'm going to put this down so you can see where it was. So down here, I forgot to pick up that card. And at the point where that would have been is in the, um, it doesn't matter. Because I, I really believe that these cards come to you in exactly the way they're meant to. And this is just a final roundup of this, is that uh, the world card is that we're headed for new starts. And that's always, that's always a good journey. It's always a, a good place to be headed. So I'm glad I saw this and thought about taping this little piece to stick on. The end so yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, we've got, um, it looks like the government's going to get in the way a little bit. Uh, but overall, uh, we're going to come out right on top, as we should. So I like that. Well, my name's Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by. And uh, stop by tomorrow. I'll be right here. Ciao for now.